Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can use Ansible to configure a static route on Arduino's device. I will add a new loopback address on VMX1 that will be 11.11.11.11.32 and on VMX2 I will create a static route pointing towards VMX1 to reach this new loopback. The playbook will add the static route on VMX2 and will also check the configuration to make sure the right configurations are added. So let's get started. So my playbook will start with three dashes as it's a YAML file hosts that will be VMX2 gather facts false connection will be local variables will be CLI and CLI will have a username and a password. In tasks, my first task will be to add the static root. Add static root to 11, 11, 11, 11 on R2. And I will be using Junos underscore config module. I will provide it the CLI variable. And I will have these command lines. That will be set routing options static route 11 11 11 11 slash 32 next hop 192.168.12.1. So that's it for the first task, and the next task is to verify what I have added. So I will just go ahead and do a show command. To check the static route to see if the static route is added show route for 11 11 11 and i will use junos underscore command module for that provider will be again cli and junos underscore command module takes commands and i will give it the command show route protocol static so that will bring me back all the static routes and I will verify if my new route is there. I will register the returned output in a variable. I will just call it results and the last task will be to print the output from results variable to the screen. Print output to screen. That will use debug module and variable will be results.stdout underscore lines. So that should do. Let me copy and paste this playbook into my Ansible controller and I will create a new file called static routing.yml and I will add these lines. Let's right quit and let's try to run it ansible dash playbook static routing.yml so it's trying to add the static root on R2. So that's done. And I have got the right output as well. So I can see on R2, I have a root added for my new loopback. So let's go ahead on R2 and do a quick verification if that new loopback is reachable. Run ping 11, 11, 11, 11, count of 5. I can ping this new loopback without any problem. So as you can see, it's uh, nice and easy. And if you have been following along all the playbooks that we have done by now, then you will find it's absolutely same as doing configs for Cisco iOS devices. There is not much difference. The only difference is the commands that you send to the remote devices. Other than that, it's almost same playbook. So that's it for this nice and short video. I will talk to you in the next video.